The answer is less than 0.05. Here's how we know that. Remember, we did a 5% test. Alpha equals 0.05. That means that this area beyond here is 5% of the distribution. Remember, the critical value cuts off the lower 5% of the distribution. The p-value is this area right here, cut off by our value of t. So remember, a p-value is just the proportion of scores that fall beyond a score. So in this case, the one-tailed p-value has to be smaller than 0.05, because this small chunk here is smaller than this chunk right here. So p has to be less than 0.05. Now again, when we're doing these by hand, we don't know the exact p-value, but we can use a calculator to look it up. I'll do that right now for you. The exact one-tailed p-value is 0 0.00985. You can clearly see that this is much less than 0 0.05. So p is less than 0 0.05. We'd probably present this p-value if we were writing this out in a results section as p is equal to 0 0.01. That's because we'd round to two decimal places.